Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable Daisy Sheep Sum Sum, this my version of the Disney Sum Sum that was released in Japan this year. Let's get started! The materials you need for this Daisy Sheep Sum Sum are fur, and I found this fur at Hobby Lobby and I bought one third of a yard and it's more than enough for what I'll need and I'll be able to make something else. I have a pair of scissors, a pair of socks and I found this one at the dollar store. I bought four different colors of embroidery thread because it's cheaper than buying four spools of thread. These are only 33 cents each. Felt in the colors pink, yellow, white and brown. A needle. 3D fabric paint in the colors shiny black and golden brown. You can use any black or brown you have. Uh, this is what I found at the dollar store and this is eyeshadow. Polyfill and this is to stuff your Tsum Tsum with. And then of course something to write or mark with. One of the supplies I forgot to mention are actually these pins. And these will help when you need to keep things in place. I would say about four or five of these would be very helpful. Now I'm only going to need one of my socks for this Tsum Tsum. And the first thing I'll do is take my polyfill and I'll start stuffing my sock with it. And this is what polyfill looks like. It's polyester and you use it to stuff things. So what I'll do, the easiest way I find to do this, is put your hand in the sock when it's inside out and just grab some of this and then pull it inwards. You can always add more if you need to. And then pull it in like this. And then you can start shaping it. This will be the front of your sum sum, but you don't want this line necessarily to show. So push the polyfill as far forward as you can while making a round face. Now that I have this the shape and size I wanted, which is a little bigger than your smallest sum sum, what I'll do is just cut off the excess. So I take my scissors and just cut off all the excess. Like this. And then what I'll do is join this together and just sew this up. Don't worry if your sewing is neat at the back because this won't show. This will be under the fur. And this will be the bottom of the sum sum and this will be the top. I have my needle threaded with some white thread. And what I'll do is just go underneath first. And I'll just do a basic stitch. I'll squeeze these together first. And then just go under here to join them together. And then I'll just go under, over, under, over, until I've closed this all up. Once you get to the corners, just tuck these in a little bit so that you keep the oval shape. And then just continue with your stitch. Under, over, under, over, like this. I finished sewing the back of it, and now you can shape it. Just roll it until it's the shape you want it to be, and then put it to the side, and now I'm going to work on her beak. So I have this drawn out on a piece of yellow felt, and what I'll do is just fold this in two so that I can cut out two the same size. So I'll just take this, use this as my guide, and cut all around the edge of it. And I'll show you what it looks like as soon as I'm finished cutting this out. So right now it looks like this. And then what you'll do is just cut right down the middle and then you'll sew the two pieces of them together. I have my needle now thread with yellow embroidery thread and I'll just be doing a simple stitch to attach the two pieces of the beak together. So what I'll do is I'll just go through here, pull it all the way through until you have a little stitch and then go from the back to the front Pull your needle through and then go back again where your last stitch ended and go through again. And do this all the way around until you get to the other side. I finished sewing all around the edges and now what I'll do is take my pencil and just push this inside out so that the sewing won't show and you have a nice little shaped beak. I'll show you what that looks like. Like this. Now that the beak is finished, I'll attach it to the body. I have a pencil here, and I mark the beginning of where I want the beak to go, right about here, and then I'll take my needle and thread and go in through the beak on the edge of it, pull it almost all the way through, and then put the beak where you marked it with a pencil mark. Hold it down gently, and then go in through your white, and then come out through the beak with a small stitch so that it won't show a lot. I'll show you what that looks like. 
like this. Go in through the white again and then come out through the yellow like this and then just pull all the way through until you have these little stitches attaching the beak to the body. You probably could do this with hot glue if you don't really like sewing, but I'm going to continue all the way around until I'm finished attaching the beak. I'm going to get started on Daisy's eyes. For that I have some black 3D fabric paint and I have this piece of paper that I cut two holes out of and I space them where I want the eyes to go. So I'll just place this right on in front of her face on top of her beak like this and I'll hold it down while I apply the paint. I'll just squeeze it, trace, all, trace around the holes and then fill it in and I'll show you how I do that. Just squeeze it. Go all the way around and fill in the little hole until you have a nice round eye. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Like this. And then I'll do the same thing with the next one. Just fill it all in with fabric paint. And then while that's drying, what I'll do is I'll get started on her ears. Like this. Now that Daisy's eyes are dry, I'm going to get started on her eyelashes. And for that I have two strands of black embroidery thread threaded through my needle. I'll start here on the corner of her eye, push my needle in, go up as high as I want her eyelash to be, about this far up, pull my needle, pull the thread but not all the way through, and then go back down again to the eye. Come out where you want her second eyelash to go. So then pull your thread all the way through until you have her first eyelash like this. And then I'll do the second one, a little bit lower down. Go back again to the eye, and then go where you want the third eyelash to start. So I'll show you her second eyelash. There you have the second one. The third one I'll do at a little angle like this, because the third one is pointed to the side. I finished the eyelashes on the first eye and cut off all the excess thread, and now I'll get started on this eye. After that, I'll be shaping the fur that goes around her body. Now I'm finished with Daisy's eyelashes, so now I'll get started on her feet. So I have yellow and white felt, and I placed one right on top of the other, and I'll use the back of this measuring spoon to make the shape of her feet. So what I'll do is I'll just place it upside down, and then I'll use this marker to just draw around it. And then I'll cut out all of the feet together. I'll do this two times, right on top of my yellow, like this, I'll show you in a minute. And then I'll cut around both of them at the same time. So I end up with two white feet and two yellow feet. Now I've finished cutting out all four of Daisy's feet. I'll just place these to the side and get started on her bow and her ears. So here I drew a rounded rectangle. And this one I'll be cutting out. And this will be her bow. And then these pink shapes I made here are for the inside of her ears. I'll also be making two white ones like these for the outside of her ears. But these will, the white ones will be a little bigger. Now I'm going to cut out the fur that I need for Daisy. Now I have this inside out and I'll drape the furry side over her and I'll cover her face with it. It's okay if it drapes because I want to be able to fold it over if I need to. So I want it to be bigger than I need it. And then I'll just tuck this in on the side and what I'll do is I'll draw a rough shape around her just to give me an idea of where to cut it out. So I want to make sure it's all the way around and I'll just draw with my marker all around the edge of her. When I'm finished it'll kind of look like it's a big oval. Just go all the way over your thread, I mean, I'm sorry, over your fur. And then when you're finished, cut that out. This is what I have so far. I finished cutting out my shape, so now what I'll do is just tuck this under, and then I'll place this right on top of Daisy. When I have it as far down as I want it to go, I'll take a pin, and I'll just make sure that I keep that there by attaching this pin. And then I'll turn her over and start folding in all these edges, pinning as you go along so that they, the, so the cloth doesn't move until you're ready to sew it. So I'll tuck this all in, pin her all around, and then I'll get some white embroidery thread and sew all the edges. Finish attaching the fur on Daisy, so next I'll be working on her ears. So the first thing you do is take your pink, place it on the white, and then fold it over like this. So most of the pink shows on the inside. And then take your needle and put a little stitch right in the middle here, right on the edge here, just to keep it together so that it ends up looking like this. And then what I did with it was I cut off the tip. 
The next thing I'll be doing, once I'm finished that, is putting this on the side of her head. So you can see her ear like this on the side, a little bit higher up. And then I'll be using a pin just to keep it there, to keep it in place until I'm ready to sew it. So I'll sew that one on and then I'll sew this one on when I'm finished. Now I've finished with Daisy's little ears and I've also pinned on all four of her feet, two white at the front and two yellow at the back. And now I'll just start sewing them on. And then when I'm finished doing that, I'll cover it with another piece of felt. I finished sewing on all of Daisy's feet, so now I'll be attaching the base of her. So I cut out this shape here, the straight part will go in the front, and the curved part will go around the back. Now because I want it to stay in place, what I'll be doing is just pinning this on, and then sewing all the way around the edge. And don't forget when you finish sewing to remove the pins, like this. Now I finished attaching the base to Daisy, I sewed all around the edges, but you could probably hot glue this too. I have my rectangle that I previously cut out and this will become her bow. So the first thing I'll do is take my needle with my pink thread and go right through the middle here, pull it all the way through until it starts looking like a bow. And then I'll just wrap this around one time until it looks like this and then I can attach it to her head. Now I finished with Daisy's little pink bow and what I started on was her horns. So I have two pieces of brown felt that I cut out in this shape and to make the swirl on them what I did was I used this 3D fabric paint and this is in the color golden brown. Once those are dry I'll add them to her head but for now I'll get started on her cheeks. So I found this at the dollar store and this is eyeshadow and I'll just be using the pink one to color in her cheeks. I'll be using the very light pink one. So her cheeks are over here on the side of her beak. I'll just rub it into my eyeshadow and just put a little bit of this on this cheek like this and then I'll do the same thing with the other side add a little bit of here a little bit on here in a circular motion blow off the excess and there you go Daisy has her two little pink cheeks both my horns are dry so now what I'll do is I'll just pin them on so that it will make it easier for me to sew so I'll just pin one on right over here just slide my pin in and once again, when you're finished sewing them on, don't forget to remove the pin. And then I'll put the other one on this side. And then I'll sew both the horns on. And now my Daisy Sum Sum Sheep is completely finished. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'll be posting a new Sum Sum video very soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and post in the comments. Have a great day!